Why don't you just go take a seat down there for me? The cops are right on their way. <laughs> Chris Hansen. Everybody knows who he is. He's from one of the most popular shows, probably ever, to be honest, to catch a predator, if you're not sure what I'm talking about. With that fame, he's sparked a lot of people that are trying to take what he does and do their own spin on it. Some people do a pretty decent job about it. There's definitely people that have gotten arrested for it, which is great, right? Don't get me wrong. But a lot of these videos, if not pretty much all of them, are fake. You can find a ton of examples of these everywhere. Mostly on TikTok, you'll find just faked videos. One of the biggest people in this genre is Skeeter Jean, which this video is not about him. I just wanted to bring him up for a second because I thought this thumbnail was kind of funny. I don't know if his videos are fake. He definitely puts more effort into it than anybody else, so they're, they honestly could be real. My problem is he's like if Mr. Beast and Chris Hansen uh, had a baby. His most recent video, he's... <laughs> like just look at this thumbnail. He's doing the he's doing the Wojak point and everything. He's doing the I'm sorry if I don't believe you that this is real when you're doing Mr. Beast thumbnails and you're giving away Lamborghinis at the end of your video, you know? It's just like it, it makes it it completely takes away from the whole catching a predator thing, right? Like you should be trying to catch the predator and make it serious because it's a very serious topic and when you kind of minimize it like this it just it just feels a little it feels a little weird it feels a little weird man he's fine i'm not going to talk about him i'm not going to deep dive in today my my main problem is all the other channels specifically on like tiktok and things like that uh they just it's so fake it hurts and like just just look look at this video look at this video who are you you're just Jeff? Kirill, проверь, у него есть оружие или нет? Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but... What? Uh, Why does... What? What? <laughs> Some fucking Russian mob boss with... I'm sorry, that accent is probably, like, it feels a little fake, even if it's not. It's just like, why would you dress up like a mob boss and pretend that you're some Russian gangster catching this guy? And also, I feel like this is not the kind of video to put <laughs> Minecraft gameplay at the bottom of your screen. Like, where's my Subway Surfers? No, but in all seriousness, it just, again, it just completely takes away from the catching a predator thing. You're adding weird Russian bits, you're adding gameplay at the bottom. Like, this isn't some random YouTuber talking about controversy. This is you catching a predator. I feel like you should be a little more serious about it, you know? <laughs> There's also a few YouTubers that do it too. Um, like this guy, uh, his name is Oma. This is a clip from one of his videos. Are you guys calling the cops? Well, they're, they're already probably on their way, but- Oh my God. Like, what do, you, what do you mean probably on their way? Shouldn't you know if you called the cops now i could be i could be wrong about this i tried looking into it everything that i saw said that this was illegal if you are telling him he can't leave because the cops are on their way that's that's definitely false imprisonment right if especially if the cops are not actually on their way or if you're paying your friend to dress up like a cop and show up which is probably what's happening in these videos let's be real the problem with these videos is that 90 percent of these people never actually end up in jail if they are real like even with chris hansen back in the day a lot of the time there wouldn't be enough evidence the evidence would have been obtained illegally or be inadmissible in court sometimes the judge would even just throw the case out altogether saying it's entrapment because you tricked the guy into showing up which that one's a little stupid don't get me wrong that one's that one's a little stupid i mean <laughs> come on i don't know anyways anyways a big name that's been floating around recently is actually vitaly I don't know if you guys know him. Vitaly's been around forever, right? He was a prank channel. He's, he kind of started the whole prank channel wave. And really quick side note, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. All of these predator catching channels either started off or still actively do prank videos, which are also almost definitely fake. So I don't, it's just, I don't know, man. I, I wonder, I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why they get into this one too. <laughs> I don't know, he's got a few videos that I wanted to uh, take a look at really quick too, like this one. I mean, you can fucking take over all of you! This guy's hearing me a 15 year old boy! Like, okay, first of all, it's probably fake. If that was a real person, especially with his history of going to jail, there's no way he'd actually just grab this dude and throw him to the ground. But also, if it was real, you also wouldn't want to grab him and throw him to the ground, because then that's assault, and you're gonna go to jail for assaulting him because you are not an officer. I don't think people realize this when they watch these videos. You can't just grab him and throw him on the ground just start beating the shit out of him. Dude, dude had him around the neck pulling him out of this fucking Walmart. Vitaly, you can't do that, man. You're not a cop. If this was real and this wasn't fake, that man's off the hook now, like thanks to you. And don't get me wrong, I, I like to see a predator get punched, right? I think everybody can agree that that's, 
that's great. Nobody, nobody supports predators, right? Nobody likes them. But when you're causing them to not go to jail, I don't agree with what you're doing because you're literally letting him off the hook now because you're just beating the shit out of him in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> this whole experience of looking through Vitaly and all this stuff has led me to find this guy, Santi. I need you guys to understand that I had to go to Rumble. I had to go to Rumble to find info for this video. That's how... <laughs> So that's how you know it's probably fake and probably dumb. Just saying, just saying. Nothing against you, Rumble. Sponsor me? <laughs> no, nothing, nothing against Rumble, but like, you, you kind of get what I mean. It's like the kick of YouTube. But anyways, Santi is a creator on TikTok, Kick, and Rumble, and he even collabs with Vitaly. Whoa! <laughs> it's crazy how I find these things. He made this video called, I dressed up as a little girl to catch a child predator. This video is 100% fake, but even if it wasn't, this would always be ruled as entrapment. If you are literally dressing up as a little girl to catch this guy, that's like the definition of entrapment. <laughs> which is just gonna let him go and not go to jail, which is bad. We want these people to go to jail. But anyways, we're just gonna look at this video because I think you guys will find it pretty funny too. So it starts off, he's just giving us the rundown of the predator that he caught. You know, he's just telling us a little bit about him, showing pictures of him. And he even says that this is the worst one he's ever talked to. And we get him, <laughs> we get a reenactment of him reading the messages. <coughs> I'm not even trying to over exaggerate those messages like literally make me sick to my stomach which i mean he just kind of looks like he blinkered a little too hard i'm not gonna lie but i don't know that's like a really fake he's just coughing and i don't know it just feels a little it, it already feels a little fake right anyways he heads inside the walmart and gets into his little girl outfit <laughs> to look like he was the girl that messaged the predator and his friend his friend's just following him around you know but he actually looks like a little girl what the fuck actually looks like a little girl. I, my bad. I, I didn't realize little girls were 5'10 and buff. I, <laughs> sorry. I understand he's not actually going to use the costume to trick the guy, but like, why even do the costume then? Like, it's just, it's obviously for getting clicks. But anyways, we continue walking down as he's confronted the guy and we get, <laughs> we get these two lovely gentlemen, which I mean, you couldn't have gotten anybody else to play like a cop that you said you called multiple times in the video. You couldn't have gotten anybody else. You had to get these two. <laughs> I mean, come on. I don't think anybody on any planet would believe that these are real cops if you told them. And they're in this like party yeah. city cop outfit. Like, what are they wearing? They do not, like the, the badge looks like plastic. I don't, <laughs> like, I don't get it. Anyways, he just ends up chasing the dude uh, out of the Walmart, screaming at him, uh, touching him a few times too. So, you know, you could add assault to it if he actually did try to charge the guy for being a child predator. But my biggest red flag is the way he shows the text messages. If you look here, the way he shows the text is just a really small like grab of it with no name, no nothing, no timestamp, no dates, nothing, just the text. And the text are just really weird too. Like, how old do I look? I am guessing 12. What? Like, come on, I, I, like, I, at least try a little bit if you're gonna try to fake a video, you know? Don't don't just do literally no effort into showing the evidence. Also, side note, if this was real, what pic is the guy talking about in this text message? Because that would either imply that Stanzi is sending him a picture of him dressed up as a little girl again, or they got a real 12-year-old girl to send pictures to him, or like found pictures of a 12-year-old girl and sent them to him, which is also very weird, and I don't know, that that's like really weird, especially if this video is fake, which it, it definitely is. Why are you doing that? <laughs> I mean, if it's if it's fake, he didn't send the guy real pictures, but if it was real, he's sending the guy pictures of a 12 year old. Okay, so further into the video, the cops show up and start talking to Santi, which, okay, upon further inspection, I think I was wrong. These guys are wearing Branton security uniforms, which I looked them up, they're kind of like rent-a-cops, but from what I could tell, they only do stuff for Walmart. They, so they honestly probably did work at that Walmart. I'll, I'll give them that. They probably were like, "What? why is this guy screaming dressed as a little girl chasing this dude? Because I doubt he told Walmart before he was doing this video. <laughs> but either way, the cops never showed up in the video. The guy never shows cops anywhere in the video, which means they lied to him about saying the cops are already here. Because if you watch the actual video, the guy holding the camera says that multiple times. And they try to like get him to not leave because the cops are on the way, which is 
definitely illegal. You can't just lie to somebody and force them to stay because they think cops are coming if cops aren't coming. I don't know, like, I, I, it's insane to me that anybody would find these kinds of videos real. I want you, hold on, I want you to just prepare for this audio clip. I want you to sit down and just really prepare for this audio clip. I'm just gonna play it completely raw and untouched. Is this Eliana? I understand that you were fucking with my homie. You tried to frame him, didn't you, motherfucker? <laughs> this is the fakest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. Honestly, if you told me this was Santi himself trying to do this cartel, super like Latin heavy hood accent, I would believe you because what what the fuck am I listening to? Hey, I heard you were messing with my boy, eh? Like, I, <laughs> it was the worst accent I've ever heard in my life. If, if none of this other video convinced you that these videos were faked, that one definitely should. Because what? <laughs> like, what? Anyways, the, the main point in this video is that any of these videos that do the vigilanteism, even if they're real, but especially the faked ones, they just end up hurting people who are actually trying to get these guys in jail and get this to be stopped. It, it makes cops think less of the whole idea. It makes the judges think less of the whole idea. And you're getting these people to go free most of the time because you're getting illegal evidence which can never be used again. But to wrap this up, I, I know this video is a little different than my usual videos. I just wanted to try something new, kind of see how it goes, and I thought this topic was pretty interesting. Uh, but uh, let me know if you like this style of video and if you'd want me to do more stuff like this. But uh, yeah. Bye-bye now. <laughs>